Um, um, you know, uh, so, so yeah, the Europeans, um, they, they took our spirituality mm -hmm. away from us and they introduced religion to us, mm -hmm. you know, everyone should aim to be a practitioner of ancient African spirituality, which simply means that you serve your ancestors. You can be Christian and do and that. And recognizes the, the, and recognize the, the power of nature. Right. Mm -hmm. So how can As an I, expression of the most high God. If, if I'm, if I'm trying to be. If I'm trying to practice Christianity in, in a historically informed way, then I would know that Jesus is a blood ancestor. Right. But if I'm treating him as though he were a deity, of course, I'm going to be waiting on prayers from this pseudo deity or these, this demigod mm -hmm. when they're really a, a really good community ancestor to mm -hmm. me. If I don't have the knowledge to tap, if I'm not taught how to tap into that energy. Mm -hmm. then, how to make it work for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then all of my... You can just call it what is it a a, a dream deferred a destiny mm -hmm. delayed, um and I I I I'm a proud practitioner of African spirituality because because it is a it is a very logical a very quick remedy mm -hmm. when I stepped my foot into the into the pond or into the water it did feel it very felt good. it felt good right because it was my first drink of clean water mm -hmm. I had been so used to trying to sustain my life force and my sanity off of dirty drinking water sitting mm -hmm. in church trying to force myself to feel the Holy Ghost trying and to, to force, relate to this. I had times mm -hmm. where I was in a mega church literally trying to force out tears because I wanted to feel it. Mm -hmm. Trying to go in front of the altar and people praying over me. Trying to speak in, faking, you know, babbling, trying to speak in tongues, hoping that I could just fall out and just feel mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Never happened. Mm -hmm. And you could play gospel music. People falling out on the floor, crying and shouting and thanking Jesus. And I would try my damnedest to make it work. Mm -hmm. It never did. Mm -hmm. But as soon as someone told me, work with your ancestors. I didn't even know what didn't even know what the fucking ancestor was mm -hmm. really other than like somebody dead. Exactly. <laughs> these omnipresent forces mm -hmm. of these these random bodies that and faces that I can't see and they're just controlling my life. And I was like, okay, that's that seems to be that resonated. Mm -hmm. It resonated with me spiritually more than it did um the idea of, of serving um Jesus. And I think that Christianity works. I just think that because it's an African religion that doesn't practice African spirituality, it really can't serve the African American person in the way that it needs to. Mm -hmm. That is my opinion. Mm -hmm. And um our lifestyles show that. And there are places in the world where Christianity is practiced as an African religion. You know But those people thrive. And they thrive because it is an African religion. Look at Ethiopia, the only country on the continent of Africa that was never colonialized. But they still that is the have... only place that Christianity actually exists as it was intended to. But there, in there are indigenous cultural practices that, that they have influence... holidays, absolutely, where they venerate their ancestors. Where they venerate their ancestors. So when when do we do that um, mm -hmm. here? In the southern part of the United States, when when do African Americans do venerate their ancestors in addition to going to church? We don't do it because the Christianity, the the style of Christianity that we practice is is been um, influenced and weaponized against us. Mm -hmm. You know the fact that Europeans are even at the head of the Christian church, and I'm speaking about the Vatican and the Catholic church, the fact that that is even the case should make you guys wonder because Christianity is a North African religion. Jesus was from North Africa, you guys. They can call it the Middle East all they want to, but Jesus was African and he was from North Africa and all of the disciples too. And Christianity is supposed to be an African religion. And the fact that we have Europeans running it and telling us how to do it. And the fact that they, they brought it to us with the sword and forced it down our throats and used it to rape and ravage our countries and rape and ravage our mothers and do everything that has been done as a result of colonialization and the mm -hmm. and the and the um Atlantic slave trade you know you guys it doesn't take we don't we don't even have to be really smart to understand why it may not make sense for us to cling to what they gave us i mean it, you can't you can't trust european geographers or european philosophers you can't trust them at not, all <laughs> not just not simply because they're responsible for the systemic eradication of african people because they 
draw these arbitrary ass borders and try to tell us this is Africa. Mm-hmm. We know we know Christianity started in North Africa. Right. We can't you can't sit here and tell me that it didn't start in North Africa when the same Europeans that drew the world maps are telling me that Russians are not Asian and they're in the con- on the continent of Asia. Right. So no, we we there's the, the ways in which Christianity is practiced here is problematic because mm-hmm. it's it is practiced in a way that's ahistorical and not mm-hmm. informed by science or history and the mere fact that it has tradition. been weaponized that's what i want people right. to understand just the but fact no, that it's been weaponized. break that down because you're saying that it's been weaponized that may just be it may just sound good to a lot of people that can't spell weapon <laughs> christianity has been weaponized in that it was one of the tools used to enslave people it was one of the tools used to steal lands from mm-hmm. the Native Americans. It was one of the tools used to encourage people to endure un- suffering the likes of which the world had never, ever seen in all its history. Right. In all its history, in all the history of mankind, the world had never seen the suffering that took place as a result of the transatlantic slave trade. And the the massacres and the genocide that took place with uh what was the movement called what was the movement called which one where they uh where they took the lands from the native americans the not that it was actually a mo- there was a, philo- a philosophical um manifest destiny okay manifest okay. destiny where the europeans believed that that god had intended for them to have this land and to inhabit this land and to bring the savages to jesus okay and they used that as their banner for killing and decimating and wiping entire i'm getting emotional Entire tribes of people off the face of the earth. My ancestors, the Taino. That is is how it was weaponized. And that has never happened in any other place in the world. Wars have been fought and people were assimilated. You get what I'm saying? People became the groups of people that in, that, that conquered them. They were never destroyed. They were never wiped out. They were never... You, you, you kept the bodies alive, but you destroyed the people's this culture. So there's pretty much you have trees that are dead, but they're still standing and they haven't been cut down. And these trees can continue reproducing themselves. Right. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess one of the points that I, I was going to make was that. Um, shit, you said a lot, but uh, <laughs> one of the points that I wanted to make. Um, uh, and then I'm sorry, I have. To, and, and then so another way that it was weaponized, one of the bullets was the white Jesus. The white Jesus, you guys. And I actually was watching a video last night, a documentary that was taking place in West Africa. And they were in this church and there was a white Jesus in the church. And I almost threw my TV out the window. The first the first form of imagery in the United States that was popularized um, to control African-Americans was minstrelsy. And that was pretty much the first American, that's the first American representation of Of any, not of any American, period. Mm -hmm. It was the minstrel. Mm -hmm. The minstrel was. There was no, there was no American. They created the minstrel first. Because Europeans never knew how to define themselves as a race of people. So, of course, you have to define whiteness based off of what it's not. So, Mm -hmm. we're going to tell you. We know that they're savages. We know that you're a minstrel. Mm-hmm. Then we figure out that we're Americans. Yeah. Um. So, and a minstrel being a a bumbling idiot, a blithering fool, with features that are exaggerated and ridiculous, distinctly different mm-hmm. than the white than Jesus. The white people. Yeah. No, exactly. than the white Jesus. Than the white Jesus. You're right about that. So you wow. introduce a slave to both of those images of wow. these, of themselves, and then exactly, and then God. Wow, that's some wicked. Whom they shit, can't you see. Guys. Wicked. Wicked. And it's such a lie. It's such a lie because Jesus was not white or anything close to it. And they know this. Do you guys know that they know this? Now, the the guy with the toothless man with the American flag T-shirt on in the trailer park, he may be oblivious to it. But the powers that be, the purveyors of these images, His cousins, they know it. They know it. That man's cousins. And so you guys, you guys go to church. First of all, you go to church on, on Sunday, which 
goes against the Ten Commandments because if you really are Christian and you're really following the laws as Jesus laid them down, or I'm sorry, as Moses laid them down, then you would be going, you would be praising God on the Sabbath like everybody else does. Okay, you'd be going to church on Sunday. I mean, on Saturday, not Sunday. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. You got it ass backwards. And then you're going to church and you're kneeling before a graven image. That would be violation number two, Christians, of what Moses asked y'all to do. (laughs) And then you're praying to this man who doesn't look anything like you, yet he came from the same place you did. They whitewashed Jesus. And... We just go along with it. It's like when you know better, do better. And I'm not saying throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm a biblical scholar. I minored in theology in, in, in high, I mean, in college. And I definitely believe that, that there are morsels of truth and amazing um, ways that one can elevate their thinking and their life experience if only we would do what the good book tells us to do, but y'all don't want to do that. And so if we're not going to do that, then why not do this? Why not do what we know? Why not do what we created? Why not do what our ancestors spent 30,000 years in the case of Ephah figuring out how to work with God, how to speak with God, how to utilize and transmute the energy that exists for us all, and all we have to do is tap into it. That's why I like African spirituality. That's what draws me in because it makes sense and it makes sense for me. And there's no middleman. It's just me and God and nature. Right. Yeah, that occult perspective, um, which is born out of African theology. Thank you. Occult perspectives are born out of African theology. Sympathetic magic comes out of you can you can look at South African art and you can see that South Africans, indigenous South Africans practice sympathetic magic. But I'll explain that in the class that I'm going to be teaching about sympathetic magic. Um, but the the you said something that really stuck out to me, which is why leave something that we've created? Mm-hmm. You I remember and, and I'm going to bring up a conversation that we were having earlier, okay. which was about divination tools or okay. just anything that we use. OK, it's. We prefer to create our own. Yeah, we create our own stuff. So how would you feel if a white person came to you and said, put down the priestess's paper dolls and pick up this tarot deck? Bitch, why? Bitch, what? Bitch. (laughs) Cut that off your head and put on my hair. (laughs) Okay, see, now you're trying to get me worked up and I don't want to upset people. Take down Big Titty O'Shawn and put up Mary. Athena. Athena. Cersei. (laughs) <laughs> Aphrodite. Cersei. <laughs> you crazy. You know, yeah, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Without 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 having a sword to my neck. And that's okay. my point about the weaponization of Christianity. Without you putting a sword to my neck or a bullet to my head, there's nothing that you could tell me that would make me trade this for any other thing because this is mine. This is mine. This mm-hmm. was created for me, by me. This was created for me by my ancestors, by people who look like me, who talk like me, who ate who ate. So the are thing. you trying to say that Christianity is a form of propaganda that was used to control African American people and turn them away from their That's exactly tradition? what I'm saying. Oh wow. That's exactly what I'm mm-hmm. saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. So would you say that a lot of us are... I'm saying that Jesus was a Jew. And so if your ancestry is not Mm -hmm. Jewish, he had nothing to do with you. What he was talking about had nothing to do with you. He came as a reformer for the Jewish faith. And so unless you are a Hebrew, which many of us are, there are plenty of black and brown Hebrews. And if you are a Hebrew, if you have Hebrew ancestry, if if you know that to be true, then be Christian all you want to. Amen. You know, but you still got to worship your ancestors, but you still need to work with your ancestors. Or but else for you're the, not practicing Christianity. Exactly. But for the vast majority of us who come from in and around West Africa, Jesus had nothing to do with us. He was not concerned with us. He was not speaking to us. He was talking to his people. The most high God in his infinite wisdom will always send a prophet to speak to the people that need talking to. He sent Jesus to the Jews. He sent the prophet Muhammad to the Arabs. He sent Buddha to the people in and around wherever Buddha was. He sent me to YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how it goes. 
And you guys just need to be smart and you need to be good at math. Some things just don't add up. And Mary wasn't no goddamn virgin. You don't think Mary was a virgin? Why don't you think Mary was a virgin? Because it's not scientifically possible. <laughs> okay. Um, answer me this. Um, and her name wasn't Mary. Okay. okay. Talk to me about some of the ways in which... What was her real name? It wasn't Mary. Shaniqua? <laughs> Because they have to have changed that around. It's got to be. They changed all of that around. Jesus' name was. No, no, no. It had to be like Oluwatosin. I didn't. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oluwatosin. I didn't need you or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <laughs> answer me this. Talk about some of the ways in which serving your ancestors has benefited your life psychologically. How? How? Say it again. Talk, talk to me about how this path has benefited you psychologically. Psychologically. Um, mm, I love that question. I just, I hope I can do it justice. Psychologically, it has allowed me to think freely. Um, it has allowed me to hear voices and love it. <laughs> it has allowed me to think and accept the impossible. Um, it has empowered me you know um we tend to take on the characteristics of those in power which is why six out of ten black children have add odd you know all of these different three-letter conditions that describe their africanness you know because rather than realize that we are melanated and that melanin is magic and that it plugs us into a different frequency rather than address that and deal with that it's easier to say that there's something wrong with you and let me give you a pill to dumb all that down and here's some nice fluoride for your toothpaste as well so that that pineal gland will calcify and never wake up so you really won't hear voices or, or ever the, be in touch with your ancestors or that the biological and chemical properties of melanin so fuel my fire take me high i'll be your liar too because when we're here there's nothing better than the skyline view